Hey, this is Rachel from School Psych Podcast. I wanted to get a discussion going um, about how we as school psychologists uh, save time uh, doing kind of our everyday report writing so that we're a little bit more freed up to actually work with children and get out of our office a little bit. Um, so I'm hoping that people will comment um, in the comment section and tell us about how you guys are saving time. But I tend to save time um, a little bit when I'm writing reports. I do use a, a template. Specifically, I use my template. I use um, a couple different things to help um, that process a little bit faster. So if you'll see my template, anytime that I'm using the child's name, I have three Y's. Anytime that I'm using he or she, I have three S's. And anytime I'm using his or her, I have three H's. And so what I do is I use the replace function. You're going to go control F in Word. Um, this brings up the find. So this would find any text that I happen to type in here, but I'm going to switch it over to replace right here. So if I put the three Y's and put Johnny, and then go replace all, that's going to take all in my document, everything where I have those three Y's and put Johnny's name in. So same thing with he and she. Um, so replace, and then his and her. So that just saves a little bit of time with things like uh, subtext sub descriptions and things like that. I tend to put in in my template, um, you know, tests that I commonly use. And then when I'm opening one and saving it for a particular child, I'll go through and kind of weed out the things that maybe I'm not using and just delete them. I do have another template that I'll use to sub in um, tests that maybe I don't use on a regular basis, but to bring them up in a different document and swap them over. This template right here, um, I've pulled it from the Google Drive. Um, so that's available for anyone that wants it. But um, and then I do leave the X's anytime, you know, I need to add a little bit more information or to clarify or to insert a score or something. Um, I have a couple token statements for this might be something, you know, for initial evaluations. This is a statement I might use for a transfer case. And this is a statement I might use for a reeval. So saves a little bit of typing um, when you're typing 100 reports in a school year. A little bit here and there really does add up. Um, but I'm really curious as to what everybody else is using um, to help them type reports and to be faster and better at what we're doing um, and free us up for more work with kids. So hopefully you guys will comment. Thanks for watching. Oops. Bye.